Welcome back into the Sporting News Studio, everybody. I'm Stephen Levine. We are taking a look at each and every game of the NCAA basketball tournament thanks to the UPS Team Performance Index. And I'm joined now on the phone by Sporting News College basketball writer Mike DeCourcy. Mike, it's time to take a look at the Miami Hurricanes versus uh, the Illinois Fighting Illini, a two seed versus a seven seed. On paper, uh, Miami has a distinct advantage. Their TPI numbers are above average. Many of Illinois are below average offensive, defensive rebounding. And Miami is just playing lights out basketball these days. You know what the real advantage is, Stephen? The LB numbers, uh, the, the, the pounds of, of power that Miami arrays across its front court. That's where the real advantage is, and that's where you're going to have to have Illinois try to find a way to stay competitive in the front court, not get blown out physically. That's a problem for them. We've seen teams that played well against Miami that weren't particularly good, but they all had some bodies to throw in there. Georgia Tech had some bodies. Clemson had bodies. They weren't very good basketball teams by the end of the year when they were challenging the Hurricanes, but they weren't able to be pushed around either. I'm not sure how Illinois avoids that, and that's where their problem comes. You've got size in, on the perimeter with, uh, with Durant Scott, so the fact that Brandon Paul is a tremendously physical guard, Scott guards him, even if Brandon is able to have a good day, I don't know how Illinois gets enough baskets, enough points to win the game. If somehow they, Illinois can perhaps stay in, say, a 50-46 to 46 game, something like that, then maybe they could steal it at the end with some good plays by Paul or DJ Richardson. But I, I don't think that they're going to be able to grind it like that and stay competitive. If they try to grind like that, I think what will end up happening is the physical advantage that Miami enjoys will be that much more pronounced. Um, Miami, I mean, some people say, well, they, I've heard some people say they should be a one seed. They're the best two seed in the tournament. How deep do you think they can go? Oh, I think that they can go all the way to the Final Four. I don't think they could win six. Uh, I, I, I suppose it's somewhat possible. I, I, gave, I gave a little bit of a chance uh, because their offensive and defensive efficiency uh, and their TPI and things like that were all starting to improve by the end of the year. So I give them a little bit of a chance. I'm still not sure they have enough talent. Usually you get to Atlanta in this case, and those last two games, you just have to have somebody that's a superstar. And I don't mean a, a great college player. I mean somebody that's going to play in the NBA and, make a diff and make, perhaps even make a difference up there. And I, I don't see that guy on Miami's team. I really like Shane Lark and their point guard. I could certainly see them being in Atlanta and, and making the, the Final Four. But I just can't see them winning one of the last two, whether it be – uh, the semifinal, that'd be tough. The final, I think it would be a little bit beyond their reach. All right, that's Mike DeCourcy. I'm Stephen Levine in the Sporting News Studio. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and thanks to UPS and the Team Performance Index.